Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Revolution Hair Care. What? Yes, you heard me right. Revolution Hair Care. Revolution has a hairline for curls 3 and 4, as in curl type 3 and 4. From what I've seen on the website they do have a range for curls 1 and 2. So that's like straight and wavy hair. But these this is specifically made for us curly girls, which I was pretty ecstatic about, to be honest. These are in the Treasure Trust May subscription box. Uh, this is what they gave me this month. It comes with, <laughs> I can't even pick them all up, six products. So you got the shampoo and conditioner, deep conditioner, leave-in styling cream, and there's a revitalizer spray and a hair oil as well. I tried each and every one of them in this routine as well. And I'm gonna break down and check what's inside the products as well. And just to get my first impressions of the line. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, just keep watching. Right, so this is an old wash and go, I believe. This recording was so long ago, guys, I'm so sorry. This recording was in May and I'm just starting by saturating my hair completely with warm water. So I'm taking a shampoo first of all. This is a Deeply Hydrate My Curls Nourishing Shampoo. It's got shea butter, mango butter and babassu oil in it. And it's got no sulfates, no silicone, no alcohols. And for the first wash, I'm just shampooing my roots and then taking a scalp massager to further cleanse my scalp as well. After I've done the first wash, I go ahead and do a second wash. I go in with the roots again and then I take the shampoo down towards my ends. Some shampoos I'm able to finger to tangle with and so with this shampoo I was able to do that. But yeah this shampoo was quite good. I like a little sudden action. Apparently you don't need to see sudden action to know that the shampoo is washing your hair but I like to see sudden action because I feel like my hair is getting the best clean if I get the sudden action. So I rinsed that all out now and as you can see my hair is looking very shiny and well you can't see softness but it's, it's feeling very soft at this moment as well. Not stripped at all. And then next I'm taking the Revolution Deeply Condition My Curls Nourishing Conditioner and this also has shea butter, mango butter and babassu oil in it. So as you may know I don't really use conditioner in my routines unless the product was given to me so in this routine i'm just using it to detangle my hair this conditioner was a bit meh to me i don't feel like it did anything for my hair i didn't see much of a difference after i washed it out <laughs> but it did have slip which enabled me to detangle my hair quite easily as for detangling i start off by finger detangling my hair thoroughly first of all before i go in with the brush so I'm doing this by raking my hands through first of all and then breaking the hair apart in big sections. So I'll do this in one big section first and then I'll go into a smaller section, rake it through, separate the big knots at the roots and then rake it through again. And then I'll go in with the brush and detangle from my ends to my roots. I just feel like this is the best way to detangle my hair because I don't feel any tension on my hair at all. So I'm not gonna get any breakage. And yeah, can you see how much hair came out of my hair even though I detangled gently? And that was because at this moment in time, I was still losing hair. This was about a month after I lost a big bout of hair. So it was kind of dying down at this time, but I was still getting a lot of fallout. I don't get as much fallout these days at all. And next I'm taking a Deeply Restore My Curls Protein Restore Mask. So I'm just applying that all over my hair and brushing it out. And then I'm just checking to see how long I'm supposed to leave it on for. And then I put it in twist, put my cap on and leave it on for 20 minutes. This deep conditioner claims to be an intensive moisturizer mask. It says it's formulated with added protein and leaves the hair feeling stronger. It replenishes and nourishes, enhances shine and reduces frizz. And it's for dry and damaged hair. And this is how it's looking after I wash it out. I didn't see much of a difference, I'm not gonna lie. It does say you can leave it on overnight, but I don't recommend that at all. <laughs> Next, I'm taking a Deeply Define My Curls Leave-In Styling Cream. So as you can see in the video, it's going into my hair amazingly and it's defining my curls straight away. I don't know what is in this product that made it define my curls straight away like that, but I was so impressed at this moment. But I would say the consistency of this product felt a bit like PVA glue. It was a bit of a weird product for me, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, I just applied it all over my hair. I made sure to apply it deeper into the sections and just rake it through and smooth it through, just like I would normally do with my washing goes. And this is what the hair's looking like at this moment. It 
looks amazing so defined so shiny and the curls are just separated without much work needed at all and then it dried and my hair looks a hot mess <laughs> i don't even know what happened i just let it air dry by itself and it was just frizzy and it didn't have no shine to it and my hair didn't feel soft at all either so after i came out shower cream my body got dressed i tried adding a deeply refresh my curls with vitalizer spray and i sprayed it all over my hair until it was kind of damp and then i added a deeply shine my curls multi-use hair oil and applied that on my hair as well just to try and get the definition back and then i tried to add more of the leave-in styling cream and that didn't work so i ended up re-wetting my hair with water to try and redefine the curls and I was happy once I got the curls defined again. And so this time, instead of air drying, I went and diffused. Because I wanted to show you guys 100% dried results. So yeah, I diffused. And if you know me already, you know I hate diffusing. So yeah, I diffused for about 20 minutes and then my battery died. So yeah. <laughs> Right, so my hair is 100% dry now. My battery died, so you didn't get to see the rest of the diffusing. So yeah, just diffused all around until it was about 90% dry. And then I just air dried for the rest of the time. While I was waiting for the battery to recharge, I did have a little look at the ingredients. Revolution as a brand, I really do like Revolution. I do use a lot of their makeup and I have tried out one of their skincare items. I think it was the Silicellic just like I said so I was excited <laughs> to try them and I'm really happy with my results one well two products and a little bit of this revitalizer rubbish product I hate revitalizer spray honestly but yeah, I'm really loving the volume guys it's so voluminous this is day one volume look at this all these products have ingredients in them that aren't favorable for curly hair there's a lot of irritants in them so people with sensitive skin should be careful when using i mean any, any product really not just these products but any product it doesn't have any residue like it's soft to touch and there's no residue that comes from into my hand but the feeling that i have on my hair like it feels like it's very coated and I'm not talking about in a product kind of way I'm talking about like silicone kind of feeling and I think that is probably due to the oil because the oil does have dimethicone in it I wasn't much of a fan of the revitalizer I'm not really a fan of any of the revitalizer, revitalizer sprays that I've tried in the past the shampoo was good it didn't leave my hair feeling too stripped and it did cleanse my hair really well it started up quite well and it doesn't have any sulfates in it according to the packaging the conditioner was a bit meh i feel like that's how i feel about conditioners in general now like just a bit of a meh kind of product for me if my hair wasn't tangled i wouldn't have had to use conditioner at all so yeah that's how i feel about conditioner i probably would skip this one if I was buying it myself the deep conditioner it did leave my hair feeling soft I didn't feel like it was like a protein mask you know when you have a protein mask your hair feels much stronger or it might look a bit more defined didn't really get that from this I just it was just a bit yeah and the fact that they what did it say no it doesn't say you can leave it in but I tend to stay clear from deep conditioners that says it's a free in one or you know like the Garnier banana mask I'm, I'll never use that one again because I just feel like protein treatments are supposed to be washed out because they will probably dry your hair out if you left it in so yeah this one you can leave on overnight and I wouldn't recommend deep conditioning your hair overnight either just because the hair is weakest when it's wet and you don't want it to be wet for long periods of time either because that can break the bonds in your hair and your hair will feel soft but it resultantly will be damaged so the leave-in styling cream this is obviously what gave me these results so the results first day are looking quite promising when i put that product in my hair it just defined my curls like straight away i don't know what is inside this product but it was very good so yeah this was a good styling cream i've never had a leave-in that gave me the definition straight away like a gel would i did use a fair bit of this probably like one third so i'll probably get two more uses out of this again this is 220 milliliters so it's not really much for your buck 
but then again if the products are formulated well like Camo Rose and maybe Miel I think you should spend your money like spend your coins on products that are formulated well but obviously with these revolution products you don't know are they formulated well they're not really known for hair care so that's what's iffy about trying out new products or new brands that come out with hair products it's like do they actually know what they're doing <laughs> but yeah lastly is the deeply shine my curls multi-use hair oil and i initially before looking at the ingredients i thought this was just an oil like it's just a bunch of oils together because it says it's a hair oil but if you check the back of the ingredients it's got dimethicone perfume is the third ingredient that's quite high up in the list and it doesn't even smell good so what perfume is actually in this it doesn't smell nice <laughs> what else is it going in it's a bunch of like what's laurel laurel alcohol like i know that some of these ingredients are you know they're formulated the products are formulated to work as well as they can just like we've added dimethicone dimethicone seals the hair in like a film which helps with luster shine and even um for long lasting results as well in the beginning when it was a trend to not use silicones i did used to look out for dimethicone and all those other silicones but now i'm just like it's whatever kind of thing i just don't want to see any ingredients that's going to disrupt my hormones or make me bald do you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah i don't really mind silicone so just to highlight again which ones i would buy if i was buying them i would get a shampoo i would get the leave-in cream and possibly the deep conditioner but there are so many other better deep conditioners out there if they had a gel then it would have been chef's kiss because i don't think this is going to last more than a few days before i have to restyle it so very very happy first day results come on <laughs> yeah that was a short-lived experience because the next day it started flaking really bad and i had to rewash my hair okay but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up it really does help my channel out don't forget to subscribe and if you are subscribed already don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you get notified when my videos do come up Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.